comforter for my water bed, Chicago Bulls, 1994. I'm Tony Fast, and my family's been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, good morning. It is Monday morning. Tractor 370 is just getting serviced. Kevin's getting the swath swather. Kevin's getting the sprayer all uh, cleaned up in the cab. We'll have to grease that yet. And over here, Dad and Colin are working on replacing that tire on this tractor. So I got the time lapse ready. Start that when they put the tire back on. And then we'll have to figure out what we can fix up here. So what had happened is Dad went and put the bale, three bales he thought on the trailer went to adjust to push him on a little further, and there was a fourth bale on top of the stack. I'm kind of surprised he actually picked up all four with the loader, because it's not that big of a tractor. But when he went to adjust it, that top bale rolled off down the loader, pushed the stack up against the cab, broke the windshield, broke the top of the cab cap, the front of it there. Then the tire went flat later on that day. Not a good day for the old 5240, but get some glass ordered for it and it'll be usable again. This is the Dash chemical trailer system uh, for loading the sprayer that uh, we just purchased. We kind of had a similar setup on our other trailer, or you know, last year, that uh, had a spot up top here to put uh, a couple chemical totes and they would gravitate down into the cones and room down here for shuttles as well. This system is way faster to fill the sprayer though pulling the chemical out of these cones with a three inch line out of the bottom. So our water comes from the tanks underneath these cones and we'll open these levers. That's all gonna open the valves underneath the tanks and it's just gonna suck these cones dry and rinse them at the same time, rinse the chemical off the walls. A 65 gallon cone, they say it takes about 40 seconds to empty out where it could take a few minutes with a Venturi system for 65, 70 gallons. As we open up these valves, you open it up, it's gonna run the chemical out, suck the chemical out, as well as turn on a rinser inside the tank 
you slowly close these, it'll shut off your insert and then shut off your valve on the bottom of your cone. We're gonna go from like a 12 minute fill time with our old system to a four minute fill time, which is gonna be great because we just uh, added some land here in the last uh, few months, month or so, I guess. And this thing was ordered before then, so that's gonna be awesome. Help us fill the sprayer quicker, get more sprayed in a day. Really, the timing's great on that. So here inside the cones, uh, this cone has a couple features on it. This is a air motor that down inside here, this will spin down there. And if we can put dry product in here with water in here, open this valve, spin that spinner, this agitator, and that will turn our dry chemicals into a liquid so we can pump it out. Other feature in every one of these cones is this rinser. This will rinse your jugs empty as well as rinse your cones down. This is what's took to the valve on the side of the, the handle for uh, sucking your cones out on the side. 65 gallon, 30 gallon, 30 gallon, 65. So we're gonna set this up top here with a couple shuttles and we're gonna have hoses gravitate in. We're gonna add one more of these probably over on this side and we'll have a uh, fitting valve where we can just open, fill that cone. Same as on this one, we'll have another fitting over here in a valve and we can fill that cone off the shuttle up top. So we'll have one shuttle dedicated to this cone, one shuttle dedicated to that cone. We're also gonna put two more fittings in on the sides here with valves and we're gonna come from another product down below over here with another pump so we could fill 65 gallons of Roundup or 12 to 18 gallons of AMS depending on uh, rates and then another sprayer batch for the next fill up here so in the morning we can fill the sprayer let the sprayer warm up fill these cones again and we'll have second third load for the day all ready to go, pull up with a sprayer, turn on the pump, suck everything out. We got three loads sprayed out. We're not wasting any time loading chemical. So this orange box is the manifold to uh, take care of handling all the water. These yellow handles underneath here are gonna shut off our lines to our tanks for when we're done filling, we'll shut those off. These fittings on the outside are for sucking more water from a ground tank or from a tanker as well as there's some fittings out the back. One goes out to the pump, which is right above here to fill the sprayer. The other fitting is gonna supply the rinse water up behind here. There's another pump right over there. That's a rinse water pump. That manifold came from fiber as well. And the last thing that is part of this kit that we bought is a cage. Put our boxes in so they don't blow off the trailer. It also has a deck up top where we can put two more shuttles if we want. Also need to uh, bring the old trailer system that we had all the, the cones and that deck and all that stuff that I was mounted to out of the shed today because we sold that. So got someone coming to pick that up today. I'm gonna get to see Treater brought in the shop, and we'll check that thing over. Well, after we clean our seed, it's gonna go back into the bin, and then when we're ready to go to the field with it, we'll put a seed coating on it, a treat, we call it. And that's what this machine is for. The seed treat is a uh, insecticide as well as a fungicide. It protects that seed in uh, adverse conditions in the soil and then that will help the seed come out of the ground quicker. We'll set by the bin and we'll come out of the bin with a conveyor and go into that top. As it comes down there's a meter wheel right up in that box there. It'll turn and it'll drop the seed down through this chamber here 
that will inject or treat into that into that uh, chamber. It comes into here, and this drum turns, and it just mixes it up and rolls all around. It will come out the back here underneath, go into this, and that will go into our trucks, and then they can go to the field. So I got to grease this, oil some chains, check the oil on the on the uh, generator that's on it, and just make sure everything's working. That's all ready to go. We'll go set it to the side and uh, bring something else in the shop. Well, it's a little too cold outside to be painting the chicken coop outside. So we brought it in the shop last night and they're going to get it painted today. Hi. Here, AC girl. Come Hello. down here lower. <laughs> okay, Roger. Are you gonna be nice to the chickens? I introduced them yesterday. Are you gonna be good to them? You're not gonna eat them, are you? So, what do these parts cost? 400 something. 400, yeah. Dash trailer update. As you saw in the time lapse, we got everything plumbed up top here. Now, every time I start recording it, ah! Anyways, down here we've got all of the uh, pump, two pumps that we mounted for the chemicals from the bottom down here that go up there. That's done. Now we just need to get our last chunk of hose. We need to come from the front tank into the manifold here. And then we are done. Besides cleaning up the workbench. The trailer has become quite the workbench in here. Anyways, that's all that's left. Oh, maybe hooking up our air line from the air compressor that I think we're gonna mount on here yet. So there's our FBN order that we placed back in November, 0% interest for, what was it, John? 13 months at the time? Uh, yeah. Free money for the year. Um, the, the price guarantee that they offer, they guarantee, they refunded us a dollar per gallon on 1,800 gallons. So we got $1,800 back. All right, got the towel loader loaded on. Even got my windshield protector. Comforter for my water bed, Chicago Bulls, 1994. The so time is running out for the FBN Farmers First special offer. They are offering a special pricing right now on seed and chemical. 80 chemicals they cut the prices on that uh, just to help out with the COVID-19 thing. Also, 
don't forget if you want to sign up become a member use the link below save a hundred bucks by mentioning me just looking out for you dad just finishing up some plumbing on the shuttle pumps Colin got flaps put on the steps air compressors mounted shiny wheels more shiny wheels mud flap on that step mud flap in front of that it's ready to go out the door I think The Dash, Fiber Dash. Link is in the description for their website. We're gonna see a lot of this this year. Really excited how fast we're gonna spray with the sprayer. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget the Farm Focused website for all the cool stuff that kind of helps this channel and keep going. All the merchandise, hats, shirts. I guess I think it's cool. You probably don't think it's cool. Well, some of you do because you bought it already. Anyways, catch me next video.